this one's pretty tight. So just gotta tap it in with the wooden mount or the rubber mallet. Wooden mount would be like uh, something you use to assemble an arc. That's what you uh, <clears throat> break open the crabs with. There you go. guys ready to play with some wood? You know I'm always ready to get my hands on some wood. Today we are going to be getting a lot of woodware done for our, our bees that we're going to be installing. We have a hundred boxes already done so we can put the nukes into the uh, the boxes once they arrive. So now we're kind of getting the uh, the second chunk done, the second 100 boxes we need. That's probably gonna take us a, a couple days where we've been working on it um, for a while now, but we're starting to get down to crunch time. So we're gonna put it into overdrive, into maximum overdrive, as Mr. Plankton uh, says. So this is my, my buddy, Alex. He's going to be working with us uh, from here on out. We played sports together in high school and have been uh, keeping in touch since. So it's time to bring in some another set of hands. And this is these are this is the the next set of hands. I'm hoping to learn a few things about uh, farm life and stuff that I find pretty interesting. Uh, it'd be pretty cool to learn about bees and how they interact with the environment and how they thrive, how they can make honey, stuff like that. Honestly, I'm doing this because I think it's going to be fun to work with my friends from high school more than anything. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a good experience, I think. Pretty optimistic, thinking about the future. Who knows, we could uh, blow up and do pretty good. I thought you meant the world. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon's already done many, but what you need to assemble a box, we are doing eight frame deeps. You need two small pieces, two big pieces. So these are all cut with box joints. So all you do, and I just run a bead of glue basically across all the insides of the joints. This is the long one, take the small one, pop it in here. It should be relatively tight then. I do the same thing here. There's a little crease up here where you want to put just a little dot of glue and then the same thing. Glue the insides of the joints. This one's pretty tight, so I'm just gonna tap it in with the wooden mount or the rubber mallet. Wooden mount would be like uh, something you use to assemble an arc. That's what you uh, <clears throat> break open the crabs with. There you go. All right, and then now you have your last joints. So same thing, glue all the interior. And then your remaining piece is gonna be your short piece. This one went together really nice so we don't have to even worry about clamps or anything. And for these ones, you actually can't put these in upside down. So you don't even have to think about that. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. So. Again, decently sized. Now, this one is actually super tight, so have my ear pro in, put your eye pro on. You don't want, uh, you don't want any of this crap flying into your face. So I'm just gonna tack it down, two sides. Make sure it's nice and flush. Same thing on this side. I'm basically just, I like the orientation. So I'm just gonna tack it down. So now, every single joint here where you see this little hole pre-drilled here, just throw a staple in it. So this side, both sides of every corner, staple it. We want these things to last a very long time, especially, you know, because they are, these joints are hopefully gonna be supporting a decent amount of weight. You know, a strong colony, you can have, 
can have boxes that are pretty substantial. So make them strong now because you can't really do it much later unless you want to give some bees some new piercings. So all these joints are stapled, glued, and assembled. And then just make sure there's no ridiculous squeeze out pouring all over the place. But this is your eight frame deep. Beautiful. 99 more. Woo! Beautiful. Wondrous. All right. And now, while you do this, me and your are going to go get some food. Um, so we'll be back in. Yeah, do you need my card? We'll be back in about if four hours. If you want to give me your card, that's fine. We'll be back in about six hours. Actually, we'll be just be back tomorrow. It's fine. Okay. You can do it. You so got do it. you want me to like sleep here? You have well? water here, right? Yeah, I got water. Okay. You're good then. Sweet. And in a pinch, this has probably got some nutrition. Yeah, probably. Well, let's get to it, gentlemen. Yeah, I feel like there's a, a period of time where someone's waiting. Like right now. Yeah. There should never be a period of time where someone's waiting. Oh, you want to be a stapler? Sure. So we're not wasting any time. We're, uh, we're just going to try to see if we can do like a little assembly line type action where we got two people assembling and one person stapling. Um, we'll see how that works. Henry Ford. Exactly. Looking forward to getting all this woodware done so our bees have some space to grow once we get them here. We're always going to be making woodware once we have 100 hives going, hopefully, because we're going to be expanding and doing all that kind of stuff. So woodware isn't going to end, but it's hopefully not going to be such a mad scramble. Alex has fallen into place right with us. It's like he's been working here for a while, so he's uh, he's been a, a great addition so far. I thought I'd be tired by this point, but it's the mindless work thing again. It's just you get into a mode and start gluing. I have pinched my hands a few times trying to slam these uh, pieces together, which feel, always feels great. It beats a lot of other things, like digging holes. You don't like digging holes? No, you know, I'm not like the biggest fan of it. <laughs> it's fun though. You get to play with dirt. It builds character. You know that's rope? Is that the movie holes? It is. Yeah. <laughs> 